Now, we've uh, done a lot of practicing where uh, Brian and Chris have both had their helmets off, but the biggest favor they can do for themselves and for their teammates is to practice with their helmets on. So what we're going to do is we're going to run through a couple of the drills. I'm going to have you go ahead and do a couple of uh, the Lonely Boy drills. And this will allow him, once again, the weight of the helmet, the strength of his neck, and just his vision. So go ahead and toss yourself up a few. Very nice. Now, Chris will also need the vision as well because as a defender, he really wants to make sure he knows where the ball is going. If at least Brian's going to catch the ball, he doesn't want to be blind while he's catching it because that's going to result in some points pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and run the 10-yard uh, the stop and turn. Set, hike. And once again, we'll go ahead and run it again. Set, hike, head around. Very nice. Now what we'll execute for Chris's benefit is a 10 yard in. And this will allow Chris to have to actually focus and then turn his head and follow BK as well with his body. Set, hit. And that's the importance of helmet vision. You will have incomplete passes. It's part of the game, but we can eliminate that by practicing with our helmets on, using our eyes, and getting our head around. Good stuff, guys.